So you might have seen that I have some stencils available. I have them available as PDFs or JPEGs, but I've also got them available as SVG files. So SVG files are for cutting machines. That's for something like a Silhouette machine or a Cricut machine. Um, and so you don't need one of those, but if you have one of those, I wanna show you how to cut the stencils that I have prepared. So follow along, let's go. Okay, so I wanna show you how you can download the stencil files that I've um, uploaded for you. So if you go to the link, that'll open up a folder in Google Drive. So you can just download all three of those files there. So download, oops. So I've got a JPG in there for you in case you're cutting your own stencils by hand. Um, the easiest way to do that would be to print it on a piece of cardstock or something and then just cut it out with a scissors or an X-Acto knife. Uh, and then I've got an SVG file in there, which is um, more versatile for cutting machines in general. So you can download those and then open up your downloads folder and pull them into Silhouette Studio if that's what you're using. So I'm going to say file open. Um, we're going to go with the SVG one. They're both the same in this case because of the, because of the software that I'm using. So you can see here, the red line is the cut line. Um, so we're going to have to make sure that our settings are right. So I would go over here to see, okay, I've set my machine to Cameo. I've set my cutting mat to 12 by 12, which is what I have. Your, your setup might be different. Um, and then media size. I usually use poly dividers that I get from the dollar store. So my media size is actually just a little bit bigger than eight and a half by 11, but I go with eight and a half by 11 to make sure that I'm not cutting off any edges or that sort of thing. So you wanna set that as appropriate. And then I would go in and resize your, um, your cut line or your cut file to fit within that, um, those dimensions. So we're just gonna make this a little bit smaller. I'm just going to pull it up a little bit. The nice thing about um, cutting your own stencils is you can decide exactly how big you want them. So if you want them to be smaller, just make them smaller. If you want them to be bigger, maybe do one per page. You know, there's a lot of versatility there. Uh, the one thing that I do want to mention that you should watch out for is if you're using the plastic binder dividers, um, they are made for binders. So essentially they have three holes on the left-hand side. So I want to place my... Um, my images in a way that hopefully won't interfere with those three holes. So I'm going to make sure there's nothing uh, between the one and the two inch mark here and about the five and six inch mark. This is cutting it kind of close. So I'm going to move that down just a little bit. And whoops. Okay, I think that's better. We're going to go with that. So then I'm going to click over on the send tab and it does its thing. So we click cut and then we I set this to index divider stencils, which is a setting that I've actually made myself for this purpose. Uh, so I set the cut the settings to cut auto blade because that's what I'm using. And then I have these details down here below. So I have this, uh, the spinning wheel. I think it's the depth uh, is set to six. Force is 33, speed is two, and then one pass is usually enough. Um, so I would make sure that you do a test ahead of time to make sure that you're cutting through the materials that you have. Because I get these materials from the dollar store, they are uh, probably not consistent from what with what you can get from the dollar store. So make sure you test before you put a lot of time and energy into um, cutting stencils. So then you load your machine, hit start and see what happens. Okay, so here's how I cut my stencils. So this is the cutting mat that I use. Um, you probably have your own that comes with your Cameo or your cutting machine. And then I've also used um, these just plain index dividers from the dollar store. These are thinner than the ones I usually get, so hopefully this comes out all right, but we'll see. Um, so I just kind of line them up in the corners like so and stick it down nice and good. I'm actually gonna cut this off just in case that interferes with anything. Um, and then I usually actually stick it down with a little bit of extra tape because I don't know, things tend to move around a little bit on me. So just 
just an extra extra bit of sticky. So I'm just going to stick that down like that. And then we're ready to load it in the machine. Okay, so here's my Cameo machine ready to load. I'm going to try and do this with one hand. So essentially, I'm trying to line up this edge over there. And then I hit the load button. And it goes in nice and straight. Okay, so I'm ready to hit send and we'll get this going. There we go, it's cutting the stencils. So now we just let it do its thing and then we have a bunch of stencils. So after that's done, you could kind of just take off your tape and peel off your stencils. Sometimes a like a exacto or a palette knife is helpful. See, there we go. There we go. So those are our lovely, simple machine cut stencils. If you're interested in the stencils I've been using in my artwork, uh, you can find a lot of them in my coffee shop. That's the um, platform that I've been using for my stencil shop. So if you go to my coffee site, which I will link in the description for this video and click on shop, um, you can roll down and these are all my stencil files that I have available for sale. So these all come in um, a JPG version as well as a SVG file for cutting machines. Thanks for watching. See you soon.